Good afternoon. So my name is Amy and namaste. Um, welcome to this brief guided meditation. So I thought today that I would share about compassion meditation and um, it has been immensely useful in my life to develop this quality of compassion for myself and others. Um, and what I found is that um, at first when I began practicing, it was actually very hard to offer compassion directly to myself or others. And so that's why today I thought I would introduce something called the benefactor figure. Um, and uh, we imagine or sense ourselves receiving compassion from the benefactor, and then we eventually practice with offering compassion directly to ourselves. So the benefactor figure is someone who has been um, kind to us in our life. Um, they've been very helpful to us, maybe at a time when we were in need. Um, it could be a teacher or a mentor figure. It could be someone older than us or someone younger than us. Um, or it could be a child that we really love where the relationship is very um, easy and simple. Um, or it could be a pet, a beloved pet. It could be a spiritual figure like um, uh, any contemporary spiritual teacher like the Dalai Lama or um, Martin Luther King, or it could be more like an uh, archetypal figure like the Buddha or Kuan Yin, it could be Jesus or Mother Mary, just anybody where you feel that that quality of um, uh, unconditional love and kindness really shines through. Or it could be someone directly that you know, someone, a benefactor or a coach, a mentor, a teacher that has directly impacted your life. So with that said, let's just dive right in. Um, find a comfortable seat. You're welcome to sit on the floor on a cushion or you can sit on a chair or a sofa. Uh, whatever you do, you want to make sure that your um, spine is nice and tall. So for me, I've actually got a little cushion or a little pillow underneath me so that the pelvis can tilt kind of forward. If the pelvis can tilt forward, then you can. it's more easier to have that length and uprightness in the spine. A sense of uprightness so you want to aim for that allow your feet to rest comfortably on the floor and maybe just start by rocking a little bit from side to side just to feel your sitting bones connecting with the cushion or the chair underneath you mm -hmm. and then we'll begin with just three deep breaths inhale through the nose and deep exhale out through the mouth and two more times like that, deep inhale through the nose, filling up the lungs and belly with air, and exhale through the mouth, letting it out. And one more breath when you're ready. And exhaling, releasing, relaxing on the exhale. Let the shoulders soften a little bit. If you want to, of course, you can just move the joints around a little bit. Move around until you feel comfortable. Maybe roll the shoulders back a few times. Sometimes we unconsciously or habitually hold tension in the shoulders, so it might feel nice just to roll them back a few times and make yourself feel comfortable. You can also roll the neck a little bit from side to side if that feels right. Do whatever you need to do to feel more settled into your body. Hmm. And then as you're ready, maybe closing the eyes. If it's not comfortable to close the eyes, you can keep the gaze open, but just a, a soft gaze looking in front of you, four or five feet in front of you. It's like a soft gaze, or you can close your eyes. We'll do a very brief body scan from the ground up. So noticing your feet, noticing the surface that your feet are resting on, Maybe you feel the softness of the carpet or the hardness of the floor. And then scanning for sensations in the feet. Are the feet, do the feet feel hot or cool? Tight or loose? And scanning up the legs, the knees, the upper legs. Softening, releasing, relaxing. And taking your attention to the pelvis, sitting on the cushion or the chair. Noticing the pressure of your bottom where it sits on the chair. The sense of groundedness there. Weight or pressure. And then scanning our attention up the spine, up the torso. 
let your belly relax. Sometimes we habitually hold tension in the belly, so allow the belly to soften, release, relax. And then the chest area as well, the chest, the heart center. Allow the chest to soften, release, relax. Scanning up into the shoulders and the arms, down the arms. Let the arms relax by your, by your sides. You can keep your hands on your lap or you can take a more um, classical mudra with the one palm, one hand in front of the other with the thumbs touching, up to you, whatever feels right for you. Allow the arms to be nice and easy. And then scanning up the neck, noticing any sensations, the back of the head, the sides of the head, top of the head. And then scanning over the face, allow the eyebrows to smooth away from each other. Allow the eyes to become soft and sink deeper in the sockets, resting in the sockets. There's no need to look at anything right now. Allowing the eyes to rest. Scanning down the face, if there's any tension in the jaw, sometimes we habitually hold tension in the jaw so you can open and close the mouth a few times if you like, just to release any tension there. Hmm. And then allowing the tongue to rest in the mouth. And then as you're ready, widening our attention, expanding our awareness to include the whole body sitting here and breathing here. And notice for you where you most easily feel the sensations of breathing. Maybe you notice the rise and fall of the belly or chest. the sense of expansion with the inhale and a releasing, relaxing on the exhale. Or maybe it's easier for you to feel the breath around the nostrils or the upper lip, the flow of the in-breath and out-breath. So choose a place that's easy, that's easy and comfortable, easy and comfortable for you to feel the breath. And just allow that to be your like your home base, a place where you can return to if you find that your mind has wandered off into thinking. Keeping a relaxed but steady attention on the breath for just a little bit here. Resting the mind on the inhale and resting the mind on the exhale. And then when you're ready, bring to mind a benefactor figure. So it could be a teacher or a mentor, maybe a spiritual figure, like an archetypal figure, or it could be a spiritual teacher that, whose teachings are, that you admire, or it could be a pet that you, where the relationship is really loving very simple, but someone who you know cares about you, maybe someone who has helped you out at a difficult time in your life. And then sense or imagine that this person or being is right here in this room with you, in your room with you. Maybe they're sitting in front of you or next to you. 
And just notice the sense of connection between you and this other being. How does it impact you to feel their presence? Maybe there's a sense of warmth in the body. Maybe there's a sense of appreciation or maybe even gratitude for this person. So see them or maybe whisper their name, get a felt sense for their being. And in whatever way you can, sense or imagine that they're right here with you, right next to you. And then feeling their care for you, knowing that they, they wish you well and they wish you to be free of difficulties, free of suffering. Connecting to that caring quality, kind, caring quality of your benefactor. And then as you're ready, maybe just noticing your own body, maybe there are certain places that feel tense or tight held or blocked. And then sense or imagine that this caring, kind energy of your benefactor, that they care about you and that they wish you to be well. And they say to you, may you be free from this, this tension in the body. May you be free from this pain or difficulty in the body. I care about you. And just allow yourself to receive this caring, kind, compassionate energy from your benefactor as best as you can. Receiving their concern for you. And then when you're ready, I invite you to maybe think of something that's been a little challenging for you in your life. Maybe there's been some worries about finances or health issues. For yourself or another person. Maybe there's been some conflict in a relationship. Or maybe it's just a general sense of worry or anxiety about the future. Whatever it might be that you've been recently struggling with a little bit. Not choosing your most biggest difficulty, but something moderately difficult because we're practicing here. So maybe something from work or something from home, the family, a relationship where there's been some conflict. And then just bringing to mind a little bit of that and notice how that impacts you physically and emotionally. What do you feel in your body? Does the body feel tight? or tense in certain parts, just thinking of this. What's going on for you emotionally? Are you feeling sad or anxious, worried, fearful, lonely? What might it be? What's coming up for you right now? As best as you can, just acknowledging the truth of what's arising for you. And then when you're ready, sense that your benefactor that they care about this in you. They know that this is happening for you and they care about you and they wish you well. They offer you the phrases of compassion. May you be free from this difficulty, this stress in your life. I care about this stress. I care about this suffering in your life. May it be eased for you. So sensing that your this kind and compassionate energy is coming towards you from your benefactor, surrounding you like a warm blanket, and allow yourself to receive it as best as you can. You can use your own words or phrases. I'm just offering some options. And perhaps they say to you with kindness, with compassion, may you be free from the suffering. May you be free from the stress. I care about your suffering. I care about your difficulties, your sadness, your anxiety, your fears. 
I care about this in you. May this difficulty, may this stress be eased for you. Or if it cannot be eased, then may you hold it with care and compassion. If it feels appropriate, you can imagine or sense holding hands with your benefactor, or maybe they have their hand on your shoulder to show their support, their care and concern for you. Whatever helps you to f- bring it more vividly into mind, help it become more vivid. And just allow yourself to receive this kind and caring, compassionate energy from your benefactor. Just like if you're stepping outside on a cold day and you feel the warmth of the sun on your face, you just let that warmth slowly soaking it in into your body. In the same way, just let yourself receive, soak in this kind and compassionate energy from your benefactor. Maybe noticing how your body feels, if there's any tension, see if you can soften just a little bit. May you be free from this suffering. May you be free from this stress. I care about your difficulties. I care about your suffering and your pain. May it be eased for you. Or if it cannot be eased, then may you hold it with care and compassion. If it feels really good, if you wish to stay with this sense of receiving care and compassion from your benefactor, you can do so. Otherwise, you can let them just maybe remain nearby, sitting next to you, and experiment with offering the intention of compassion towards yourself for this difficulty that you're going through. So for offering and receiving ourselves then, offering to ourselves, may I be free from this difficulty I care about this difficulty in my life. And if you haven't done it before, you can try experimenting with taking a hand and placing it in the center of the chest, the heart center. May I be free from this suffering. May I be free from this difficulty. I care about this stress, the suffering in my life. May it be eased for me. May it be eased. So offering compassion, care to yourself and receiving it. May I be free from this difficulty, this stress, this pain. And I care about this suffering in my life. I care about this sadness or anxiety, fear or loneliness, whatever it might be for you, whatever might be coming up for you. May it be eased for me. And if there are any thoughts coming up, such as feelings of unworthiness or not deserving, see if you can hold that with a compassionate energy, compassionate intention, or allow your benefactor to acknowledge that for you and say, I care about this feeling of not being worthy. I care about this feeling of being not deserving. So whatever is arising for you, allow that to also be folded within the energy of care and compassion. And then when you're ready, slowly releasing any images, any words or thoughts allowing the mind to rest on the sensations of breath.
And just as we began this meditation with three breaths, so I invite you to take three conscious, slow breaths on your own. And when you are ready, when you hear the sound of the bell, you're welcome to slowly open your eyes and come back into your room. Thank you for joining me for this practice. I hope that it was of benefit to you. Sometimes um, various things can come up, so with more practice, we get more used to the feeling of having compassion for ourselves. So I hope that this was a benefit for you.